Bonjour. Donc, je suis le... Good morning. I'm the permanent representative of France. And France, after a close election, uh, was uh, acceded to the presidency of the Security Council. We are going to present the February program of work of the Security Council, which was approved by the Council this morning. I'll just uh, give you an overview after which I will answer your question. If you look at the program, then you can see that tomorrow the Secretary General of the United Nations uh, will meet the Security Council for consultations. After the series of uh, visits he has just uh, made, the Secretary General participated in the London Conference on Afghanistan, then went to the summit of the African Union on unity, where, where he made many bilateral contacts. And he then spent two days in Cyprus. He will be able to update us on these visits. And uh, we naturally have also asked him to inform the Security Council about the status of humanitarian efforts taking place in Haiti. That is uh, the program for the 3rd of February. On February 5, the President of the OSCE, uh, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, will present the annual program of work for the Kazakh Presidency of the OSCE to the Security Council. On the 10th, the first uh, event organized by the French Presidency, as you know, uh, we are working closely with the, the British on improving the effectiveness of UN peacekeeping operations. In 10 years, as you probably know, the volume of peacekeeping operations for the United Nations has been multiplied by five, and we must naturally adapt our structures. A number of texts have already been adopted by the Security Council at the initiative of France and the United Kingdom, and we will continue working along the same lines. On February 10, we will be asking uh, Under Secretaries Le Roy and Malcorra to see the Security Council in consultations and discuss uh, with the Council what the Secretariat has been able to do and intends to do when it comes to working methods, organization, and other means of improving the management of peacekeeping operations. These consultations uh, will be in question and answer form. The Security Council wishes to track the way in which the Secretariat conducts peacekeeping operations, but the real debate on peacekeeping will take place on Fe uh, February 12, we will be discussing transition strategies. The United Nations uh, have, of course, uh, a great deal of experience in peacekeeping, but what we are concerned with in particular is transition, how, how to transit and exit as UN forces without uh, a collapse of everything we've done taking place uh, subsequently. It's a passage from peacekeeping to peace building and how to work together to leave uh, behind us, be, uh, behind a peacekeeping operation, a robust uh, state uh, system in order to prevent uh, an upsurge or, or the return of violence. Transitions are difficult because they imply cooperation between uh, many players, not only the United Nations uh, with its agencies and funds, but also the World Bank. We also have regional development banks involved, the European Union and uh, non-governmental organizations. So let's try and think together about the success of these transitions. We will invite the special representative uh, for Sierra Leone, Mr. Schulenburg uh, will be able to share with us his experience of a fairly successful transi transition. Ms. Loy uh, uh, for Liberia. Liberia is undergoing transition. And finally, Mr. Doss uh, from 
responsible for the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is the greatest challenge facing our organization in terms of uh, peace building, how to put a close to uh, United Nations mission, a very difficult area. This then will be the debate. Transition strategies with the presence of uh, the main uh, troop contributing countries, the African Union and the European Union. The third debate to be organized by France on the 24th will be uh, with uh, Mr. Ant oh, Antonio Costa, the director of UNODC at Vienna, who will speak uh, to us about the so-called cross-cutting threats, how these threats become systematic threats uh, which menace peace and stability in countries. When I talk about uh, systemic and cross-cutting threats, uh, I'm not, it's not just drug trafficking, it's also uh, arms trafficking, trafficking in human beings, which are part uh, of uh, what leads to the corruption of state systems, but also direct threats, uh, because the more these traffickers uh, have uh, links among themselves, so the more likely they are to have links with terrorist organizations as well, or vice versa. There are many examples of terrorist organizations uh, which uh, undertake uh, drug trafficking and trafficking in human beings as well. They become uh, mafias, uh, veritable mafias. So these are major threats, and we believe it is important for the Security Council to be informed about this by Mr. Costa. I think it will be this, the second or third time Mr. Costa will be addressing us on these issues. Now, uh, some questions have already been asked about the, the so-called footnotes of the program you have before you. Peace consolidation in East Africa has to do with Guinea. We hope that we will be able to contribute uh, our support to the political process, which is still precarious. Haiti does not appear officially on the program, but I'm certain that at one point or another, we will have to ask the major players in the field, in other words, uh, both the Department of Peacekeeping Operations, but also OCHA and UNDP, to come and to give us an update about the efforts undertaken by the United Nations. And uh, we will set a date uh, with the agencies involved. Women and peace and security. We await uh, the Secretariat's report because the resolution 1888 uh, calls for the Secretariat to submit a report on the way in which this resolution is to be implemented. So it is on the agenda to the degree that it is an obligation for the Secretariat. We don't know exactly when this report will reach the Security Council. And finally, non-proliferation. This question already was asked. Uh, this point makes it possible for us to uh, bring up uh, to the Security Council the major crisis of proliferation we are facing with the possibility, with a, poten uh, with, with a potential for the Iranian crisis to come before us. But this is only a potential right now. Thank you.